Sound the alarms, a recession is coming. I'm Nick Waldner with the Waldner Winners team of Keller Williams, and how in the world can I predict there's a recession coming? Well, I'm just gonna give you some stats that I looked at to determine what's going on with the market. Right now, consumer credit card and revolving debt is at an all-time high. People are borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. They're putting money on their credit cards. They're going crazy with their spending, and that's what we saw with the inflation. At this exact same time, the personal savings rate doo, 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 is lower and lower and lower per person. So if less people are, are saving and more people are, are using credit, what happens with credit eventually? Well, it runs out. You have a limit. You max out a card. So then what happens to that purchaser? Well, they have to now spend money on paying down that card and no longer go in and out of the market to buy goods and services. That slows the economy and pushes us towards a recession. What else is going on? The Fed. The Fed has come out. You know, we went from whatever it was, 7.2 or 7.3% inflation, and then we got it down to 6% and everybody went nuts and said, this is great. And what did Jerome Powell come out and say? That's great, but our goal is 2%. So we're still way above 2%. So what, is the, what does the Fed do? They raise the, the borrowing rate. They push their rate up, which pushes us closer and closer to recession because less and less people borrow. If you're gonna go out and buy a car and it's more expensive today because of the interest rates, you're gonna think twice about buying that car. Less people buying the car, slows the economy, everything is pushing it into the recession. So Nick, you're not an economist, you're a real estate guy and an average one at that. Tell us about the market and what we can expect in the real estate market. Great question. So here's what I've seen every single time except one. Do the real estate market during a recession goes up. I know, crazy, right? But think about it. The recession comes, mortgage rates are gonna do what when a recession hits? They're gonna fall, and now it's a great time to buy a house. Now it's a great time that if you do have a job and things are going well and you're not you know, hit really hard by the economy, now's a great time to lock in a great interest rate and buy a house. So we actually see it time after time after time. You can see in this graph, every time during a recession, real estate kept going up, 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 except 2008. Oof. Why did that go down? Why are we not in the same market as back then? Well, it's really simple. 2008, that recession was caused by the housing bubble. The housing bubble, that things were going up way too high, like all those mean stops, mean stocks at GameStop or Best Buy, or all those ones that are skyrocketing and then falling off a cliff. That's what the real estate market did. It shot up so high, so fast, without any real reason to, to back it in terms of the, the financials and, and all the numbers. And then all of a sudden, when nobody could afford their house anymore and the people that bought three or four homes didn't need them and couldn't rent them, everything went down. And that was the biggest drop in real estate values across the, you know, since the 1960s. And I only say the 1960s because that's where this graph starts. But you can see the entire line is up, 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 bam. Big, huge hit in 2008 because the recession was caused by real estate. And then right back up. So even as we go into recession, stop thinking of real estate like you would think of buying a car. Maybe it's not the right time to buy that car, but real estate, something that increases in value, it might be the perfect opportunity to get in at a low interest rate and lock it in. But remember, and I've said this in many videos before, it's about your family and your lifestyle. It has nothing to do with the interest rates. It has nothing to do with appreciation. It has nothing to do with investments. It's where you are in your life events. Did you just get married? Maybe it's time for you and your, and your bride to get that new place. Did you just have a baby or a second or a third? I mean, May is coming and I've got a little girl coming in May and we're gonna have three kids. Is it time to buy another house? It has nothing to do with the investing and interest rates and all this other stuff. It's all about you and your family. So if you have some interest, you wanna talk about any of this stuff, whatever it is, shoot me a message, give me a call, at least tell me you watched this part and, uh, and use the word banana. 
And whatever you respond, make sure you put the banana so I know you made it all the way to the end of this video. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.